Hello again, welcome to another Taekwondo lesson. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to do a back fist high side strike whilst jumping into X stance. Jumping into X stance is a good way of moving a long distance quickly to reach an opponent that's far away. And I'm going to show you how to do it with a back fist high side strike because it's one of the movements in Yulgok Tool, the pattern that I'll be covering in the next lesson. And in the pattern, it's the 36th movement. It's done from here and you perform the back fist with the left hand. Like that. Now I showed you how to do a back fist high side strike in lesson number 21. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I suggest you do so because I'm not going to be explaining the technique in detail in this video. I'll be explaining more about how to jump into X stance. So an X stance will look like this. Both feet and both knees are pointing in the same direction. And the heel of the rear foot is slightly off the ground. Common mistakes are to raise the rear heel much too high or to bring the feet or knees pointing outwards. So make sure you bring the knees forward and the feet pointing forward as well with the heel slightly off the ground. When you're jumping into X stance, you're gonna land with the front leg and the training leg goes behind. And the front leg will carry nearly all the way. There is another type of X stance where when you're stepping, you bring the stepping foot in front into X stance and then the rear leg will carry nearly all the way. But that's not what we're gonna be doing today because we're jumping, it's your front leg that carries the weight and the training leg will be behind. Now to practice this technique, go into a walking stance reverse punch because this is how it's done in Yulgok Tul, 36th movement. And then you move forward and go half facing. So you need to pivot the right foot outward slightly and your arms in a neutral position. You use your rear leg to launch yourself forward, but allow the front leg to move forward and take a big stride. That way you can reach a long distance. You need to cross your arms for the back fist strike and remember the striking arm needs to be underneath with the palms facing down. But you don't need to do too much work bringing this arm back because your body's going forward with such speed that if you actually leave your arm behind and bring everything else forward, it's as if your arm's going back. So not too much effort swinging back because if you use too much effort swinging back, you might actually overturn. Okay. Now notice that you will land with the front leg and then the rear foot, the trailing leg, will come in after. So as you land with the front leg, you strike and then the trailing leg comes in after. As you strike, you do the back fist strike, the reaction, breathing and fix your gaze to the target over here at the same time, there, and then this happens after. Now a lot of people try to finish the stance and the technique at the same time, which is usually what we do. But in the case of jumping X stance, you don't. Because if you did try to land at the same time, it's very awkward, you don't bring your weight forward. Because you, you're supposed to push off the rear leg, and if you're busy trying to bring your leg forward, you're not gonna be able to push off so well, okay? So it's done more like a step, one, two, like that. Now another common mistake is to jump too high. If you jump too high, it takes too long to get there. And the idea is to get to the target very quickly. So stay low and push yourself forward. Now you'll notice that the stance ends up at a 45 degree angle. And there's a good reason for this. Because by doing this, you can press your foot down and stop that momentum going forward. It's a stopping force, like that. If you were to jump and go side facing, like this, you're going to topple over because there's no way you can use your feet to create the stopping force and you're just gonna to topple over like that. And another way you can stop yourself from toppling over is to bend that front leg as you land, like this, bend it. Because if you're too upright, like this, it's very easy to topple over. Even if you press your foot, it doesn't have much control. You need to lower your center of mass, okay? So you lower, like that. 
Now you need to practice this repeatedly, so here's an example of how you can do this. As I said before, this is the 36th movement in your Gok Tu, and I'll be showing you how to do that pattern in the next lesson. So if you've never been shown this pattern before, I suggest that you watch all my previous Taekwondo lessons so you know all the fundamental techniques to prepare yourself for your Gok Tu. So I hope you join me for that. See you next time. Goodbye. Wait, forgot to mention. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already.